You just hate to see it. CNN ratings, well, they've completely crashed. Let's say collapse, which is still probably not a strong enough word. They've been struggling to keep up with Fox News and their absolutely dominant ratings. CNN's experienced actually its worst ratings month in over a decade. It's a uh, calamitous. It's a collapse. And they've lost, well, 42 percent of the viewers they need most, the 25 to 54, because that's the money demographic. They are the most valued to advertisers. And that's not the worst news. Fox News Channel and PMSNBC are actually the two top networks for this last month. And uh, Fox has the highest rating telecasts for two consecutive years. That's an awful long time to be leading the pack. In fact, Tucker Carlson alone, Tucker Carlson Tonight Show, was the most watched show in the key demographic. CNN This Morning is the lowest ranked show that, well, is included in these numbers. <laughs> and of course, it's being uh, widely criticized for their uh, lack of chemistry on their shock jock morning zoo program. And of course, in this situation, because I've covered CNN many, many times on this channel, you can see some of them right here. This is the saddest violin moment playing for CNN. And that network used to dominate prime time. It used to dominate cable news. And it's struggling to even catch up with its competitors. I mean, you can, you, they can only dream of uh, being where Fox is one day. And as I've said before, the network has experienced the worst ratings that they've had in over a decade, just in the month of February. A 42% decline. Now, this is the leftist's worst nightmare. It's something they couldn't possibly have imagined. As I said, Tucker Carlson tonight is the most watched show in the key demo demographic. Then, you have The Five, Hannity, Gutfeld, Jesse Waters Primetime, and all of those are leading everything else. CNN's overall primetime programming drew a very weak average audience of 122,000 viewers in the key demographic. That's compared to Fox News, which drew 299,000 viewers, which is well, more than twice as many. PMS NBC came in third with 119,000 viewers, which is a 15% decline. So it's not exactly like their rock in the box either. So it sounds like those that are spurring on the decline of our country, well, they're in decline themselves. Of course, the ego hits just keep coming for the neo-Marxists because Fox News has 94 of the top 100 most watched telecasts in February, making it the highest rated network in cable news among both total viewers and, of course, the viewers in the key demographic. That's where the money is. Let's get to total viewers. Fox News dominated prime time with 2.262 million viewers, followed by PMS NBC at 1.165 million, and well, CNN with 587,000 viewers. That's right. Wow. Woo! You can't add. <laughs> you can add the two other networks together, and they still don't equal Fox News. All the networks saw the same year-over-year -year declines, with CNN experiencing obviously the biggest decline overall of 24%. Fox News was down a little, 14%, and PMS NBC declined the least at 2%, which means they're just hanging in there at their uh, mediocre level. For full day ratings, Fox News easily won the month of February with an average total audience of 1.437 million viewers. That's, as I said, down 14% from a year ago. Uh, that's, of course, followed by PMS NBC with 711,000 viewers. These numbers are not good, folks. Um, they were down just 1%, which tells you <laughs> they never really 
drew anybody anyway. And then of course CNN was the bottom of the barrel at 474,000 viewers and they were down 24% from where they were before, which was obviously in front of, or at least in line with what PMS NBC has currently. The key demographic is the one you have to pay attention to. That's where the money is. That's what advertisers are looking for. And Fox News, of course, finished in first with 189,000 viewers. We can go on and kick sand in the face of these other networks, but I wanna move on from here and talk specifically about CNN's morning show and some of their plans around trying to fix things. You see, CNN's new morning show, CNN This Morning, had an average of 360,000 total viewers. That's not a lot. They only had 73,000 of those viewers in the key demographic, which is how you pay for that show, with advertising. And that's the, again, the lowest ratings that this show has had since its launch last fall. Now, in comparison, Fox's uh, show, which is I think is called Fox and Friends, that show has uh, been in first place for the month, of course, and for many months, of course, uh, with 1.2 million viewers and 170,000 viewers in the key demographic. I think advertisers know where they're going to put their money. Now, the most humorous to me, of course, and the most predictable is obviously the shambles of a show uh, called CNN This Morning with uh, Lemon Moss and the Ladies. Sorry, I had to get a dig in there. That show actually debuted in November to ratings lower than the show that it replaced. Uh, that show was New Day and, um, well, it hasn't gained any traction. Nobody's shown up to this new morning zoo program. And critics have noted, of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video here, that there is zero chemistry between Don and his co-hosts, um, Caitlin Collins and uh, Poppy Harlow. In fact, they seem like they absolutely despise him. Now, what is also interesting is the, the show seemed to recently suffer from Don Lamont making some sexist comments, which is a big no-no, especially at a network like this that has to live inside that little bubble of woke, because I guess Don mentioned the age of Nikki Haley, who announced she was going to be running for president. And that led to a come to Jesus talk with uh, chief executive uh, at CNN, which is Chris Licht. And Licht had to then assure everybody on the staff that he had talked to Don and that he'd had a frank and meaningful conversation. And of course, he said that Don agreed to some formal training, I wonder what that means, as well as continuing to listen and learn. The formal training he's probably referring to is uh, sensitivity training, although who knows at CNN, their history is woo, bonkers. You look back the last couple of years. Despite all that controversy of this particular program, uh, they've only really garnered one day, uh, one, one day bump when Don returned to the show after his slip up and uh, they still had it their lowest month ever. So what does that tell you? Again, 360,000 on average with only 73,000 in the demo. Why would you advertise on that show? You're more likely to get more eyeballs on your local morning news show than you are on CNN this morning. Now, if you look in contrast to what Fox and Friends is doing, as I mentioned, they average 1.2 million for the month in total viewers and 170,000 in the demo. Like I said before, I know where my advertising dollars are going to go. And of course, desperation is creeping in at CNN, like I mentioned. And so they're trying to come up with multiple solutions. And this is the part of the video I'm gonna focus on. <clears throat> Starting this week, in fact, I guess a couple days ago now, CNN is going to fill the 9 p.m. hour with a range of different special reports. What does that mean? I don't know, but they're all under the same Rubicon of CNN prime time. And that programming is going to include one-on-one -on -one interviews with newsmakers. You're going to have town halls that put government officials in direct contact with people affected by policy decisions. 
Ooh, that's exciting. And other programs that will feature surprising gets and scoops. In other words, I would imagine that that will be, uh, well, fake news. I guess that's back on the table to see. <laughs> the worst news, of course, here is that, well, I guess it's the worst for the talent there. They're going to actually back away from the tried and true practice of relying on a single anchor or opinion host in a particular time slot. And they're gonna bank um, instead on the creative ways of analyzing the news cycle. I'm not making this up. They actually said this. So that's a fancy way of saying delivering contrived information that fits a carefully crafted narrative, which again, that all the neo-Marxists will allow you to get. <laughs> Other half-baked schemes, of course, include um, anchor Laura Coates hosting a show to gather defense and prosecution analysts uh, to evaluate criminal trials such as the much-publicized um, Murdoch double murder trial that is going on. On Thursday, anchor Sarah Sidner is going to uh, host what is billed as a CNN prime time event that will feature some of your favorites, let me tell you. Arlette Senez interviewing Jill Biden during her visit to Africa. Great, I wonder if Bill Gates paid for that one too. Meanwhile, Jack Tapper is expected to interview Bill Maher, which may be the only one of these ideas that I guess would have a pulse. Everything else that they've talked about is probably dead in the water and will likely not improve their ratings. I seriously doubt that anybody is going to find their way back to CNN as a credible news source, at least not anytime soon. Perhaps they're going to pivot back to hard news. That might be the only kick save they could make at this point. Now, I've always offered this. If they need any recommendation whatsoever on how to fix the trash fire that they live in, my inbox is open. Well, and it's open to you guys too. Use the comment section down below. I've done plenty of videos on CNN over the last few months. In fact, here's another one right here. You can check that out if you would like. In fact, I would encourage you to. I've been covering CNN. I'm going to keep covering CNN. They are bad news. Of course, for more pop culture news, fact-based news, which I actually do, and sarcastic opinion and commentary, of course, double check that down below you're subscribed to the channel and you've hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications so you don't miss anything. And as always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands because it's good hygiene. And until next time, bye.